Hey guys, so today is April 30th, the last day of my Epicure party. I hope you enjoyed these little videos. Um, I still think I'm gonna make them, but um, there won't be a party. Anyway, we're ending it with dessert. What a great way of closing off this party. So we're gonna do the chocolate fudge sauce from Epicure. Look at that, okay? So I'm gonna make this chocolate fudge sauce and it looks really, really easy. So, in a multi-purpose pot, whisk the sauce mix with one cup of whipping cream, bring to a boil, reduce heat to medium high, continue cooking for three minutes, and then chill before serving. So we're gonna do this part now because then you'll see what I'm gonna do with the sauce after that. So I have my whipping cream here. I have my pot. Turn that on. Let's open this up. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. I don't know if they make whipping cream, uh, for those who are dairy free, if they make whipping cream in other milk types. Hmm, good question. Okay, so there's my one cup. I'm gonna add that to the pot. So I had a lot of fun doing these Epicure videos and I've really, really come to enjoy and like their products and I will continue getting their products. So on my YouTube channel where you see cooking recipes, um, you're gonna continue to see the Epicure. So yeah. Then the chocolate fudge sauce pack. And again, which I'm pretty sure you can say it now, without me, why I like it. Ooh, oh, I got a whiff of chocolate. I had to actually stop mid-sentence to smell it. Oh my God, it smells so good. Let me read these ingredients. So what's in here? You got organic cocoa and organic cane sugar. And that is it. That's it. It's literally two... I don't know if you can see that. Where's the camera? There you go. Two ingredients, organic cocoa and organic cane sugar. You know what? That means you can make hot chocolate with this. Warm up some milk, put this in there, throw your marshmallows in there, and you got hot chocolate for the winter. Okay, so we're gonna whisk this in there. It's, it smells so chocolatey, it's so good. Um, so back to what I was saying, why do I like it? It's organic. It's real ingredients, no chemicals, no artificial preservatives, flavors, colorings, nothing you can't pronounce. Low sodium, low sugar. This is my turbo burner, let me lower this. Low sodium, low sugar. You know what? Let me bring you over here to see what it looks like. Ah, there you go. Okay, so low sodium, low sugar, non-GMO, gluten-free, nut-free. Ooh, you know what? Yeah, I will buy these again. Sean loves hot chocolate in the winter time. So does Michael. Look how rich that is. And you do this in milk. A couple of tablespoons in milk. Add your marshmallows and you got hot chocolate because it's just cocoa and sugar. All right. So it says bring to a boil. And then you lower the heat. Wow. So yes, like I said, I am really enjoying Epicure. I think I'm going to keep them in my pantry. Yes. So like I said, my cousin Maria sells it. She's a consultant. But right now, this is the last day of my party. Introducing it to my subscribers. Because... When I do my cooking videos, I like to give a little health tips and stuff like that, you know, because I am type 1 diabetic. Yeah. 
making chocolate, right? I know you're laughing, but I don't really eat many sweets. Of course, I'm going to dip my finger in here and lick it, but I'm not going to be really eating it. Um, my boys and my husband are the sweets fans in this house, and I love making things for them to enjoy. Um, yeah, but um, being diabetic, health, nutrition, literally is key. It's key to all the diseases, to be honest with you. So I, uh, I try to incorporate our meals, you know, so that we could eat whatever we want, you know, and feel satisfied with just healthier options, healthier ingredients, you know, you got to read your labels. You got to, you know, pick and choose where to put your money. I put my money in some organics and, um, non-GMO and, you know, I'll take that extra time to make something from scratch instead of buying it, you know, processed from the store that's loaded with chemicals or ordering takeout. You know, we don't do fast food in this house. It's funny when my boys eat fast food, it goes through them like a freight train. Let me tell you, it's a colon cleanser for them. Um, that's because we don't eat it. Do you know, I went to a wedding for the first time, uh, like two months ago, I think it was. Went to a word, wedding here in Tennessee for the first time. And as we were leaving, there was a big platter of tacos. And I think they were from Taco Bell um, for guests to eat on their way out, which I thought was so cool. We're leaving the wedding and there's just all these tacos everywhere. So yeah, you know, we grabbed some and I actually ate one. And I usually, I don't eat, not usually, I don't eat at 11 o'clock at night. But I was a little hungry, you know, from dancing. I was, you know, getting my groove on on the dance floor. So um, I'm usually not awake at 11 o'clock. Uh, usually I'm sleeping. But I was up and I was like, yeah, I'm a little nashy. So I grabbed a taco and I had one. Do you know, the next day, it cleaned me out. <laughs> it cleaned me out. My body's just not used to all those chemicals. So... This is why I'm enjoying Epicure because it's all natural ingredients. So this is actually getting thick. I didn't bring it to a boil, but I'm going to keep it on low because that's my turbo burner, you know. Let's get some chocolate on the counter there. So let that simmer a little bit. Oh, and uh, we'll get back to it. Boiling. So now I'm going to just stop it and let it sit there for a couple minutes and let it cool because we have to refrigerate it. So then chill and look at, oh. With this packet, you can make chocolate icing and chocolate syrup. And like I said, hot chocolate. But I want to show you something. So here you got organic cocoa and organic cane sugar that's it two ingredients this is organic chocolate flavored syrup and it's organic that's why i bought it right but look at the ingredients oops let me enlarge them a little bit organic cane sugar water organic cocoa processed with alkali the hell is that I don't know organic tapio tapioca syrup contains 2% or less of the following salt and lactic acid obviously those are needed for preservatives but this just has organic cocoa and organic cane sugar two ingredients can you believe that sodium zero Zero, see, that's why, that's why I'm going to take my time and buy those and take a little time to make it. I don't know if I'll be buying that again. So bye-bye chocolate syrup. I'll be buying this from now on. Isn't that amazing? And my cousin did the same comparison with Jell-O chocolate pudding with the Epicure chocolate pudding, which I want to get my hands on. So I'm going to need to order that. Um, 
and uh, same thing ingredients are different so I will be using Epicure so I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator let this cool down a little more I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator to get a little more solid and thicker Look at that and um, and then I'll show you what it looks like okay so I apologize my camera stopped recording and I've been fighting with it for quite a while so according to the directions right you whip this up to your consistency that you like and look at that now it's considered icing or chocolate whipped cream so it definitely got thicker I know chilled whipped cream does that so this is what we're gonna do the rest of this chocolate sauce, I'm going to put in a jar and put it in the refrigerator so the boys can eat it um, on Sundays when they want ice cream Sundays. Um, but we're going to do this. Let's get two cookies. Let's get some ice cream. Oh. Took me so long. Look how soft the ice cream got. Okay, so let's get ice cream. Ooh, it is still soft. Okay. Go for the middle. Ah! Okay. That'd be good, right? Yeah. It'll freeze up when I put it back in the freezer. Okay, so we got that. Now I need a spoon. Oh my God, it's like pudding. I'm gonna put that on there. No, she didn't. Yes, she did. We're putting this on here. Okay. Mira. Oh. oh! We're not finished yet. Okay. Um. Oh. Ooh, 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 ooh. You know what? Ah, technical difficulties. I'm going to put it in the freezer now. Okay, so let's try this again. My God. All right. So for Matthew's cookies, he doesn't get the chocolate, but let's try this again. The ice cream got too soft. It's still a little soft, but I have to hurry up. I haven't got time because I have dinner to do too. Oh, you can't see. All right, let's do this. Okay. I think I might save the sprinkles um, for when they're really frozen. I don't know. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. So there's one. The other one's in the freezer trying to get hard. I might have to forget about the sprinkles for now. Oops, there's two. Yep, oh, chocolate. So that'll all get nice and firm in the freezer. Can I do this? Let's see. Something like that. I am making such a mess, but I hope you like this video. I hope you got inspired. That one's sliding off. Look at that. Look at that. I hope you like this video. I hope you got inspired, and I hope you are want to try Epicure. The link is in the description below or in my bio. <laughs> um... 
Let me get these in the freezer before they slide all over the place. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the party. Um, today is the last day of the party. Let me go down here. Today is the last day of the party. So um, I hope you want to try Epicure. Go to the link in my bio if this is on Instagram and go to the link in my description. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video. And like I said, ending the party on a sweet note. So. Enjoy. God bless.